don't know how to actually do this, so I have to follow my own video. Which means I'm back to putting the old one in again, because somehow I didn't record the crucial point that the thing actually goes in. It's probably stuck on the exhaust right now. Now it's on the other side of the exhaust. Pretty much anywhere up there that gives you the room. In this case, I guess on that side you can see things. It's like it never works with one hand. Just learn let's why? Why is this like this? Not past there again, or I think I'm just taking it back out for this video. Be you nice know, this thing would record more than like three minutes of video so I could like you know, figure this out. Not this whole don't do this on a functional four-wheel drive. Okay, so there, and then you gotta basically get it to wiggle around until it flops over the exhaust. And then it will just magically work. There, see, so you get it to here. That's pretty much in line with that part there. It's touching it. And so then, it, like so, this way is forward of the exhaust, and that's back of the exhaust. And once you get there, you need two hands, or you gotta switch to here. This side's doing is basically all that. Well, this one, put it back this way again. Well, this one rides up this part of the exhaust. Oh, now it's not working. Now that I now that I showed it. Okay, back to dropping. I can do this with one thumb once loose. And what goes on up this? Oh. Crap. And then it fell. So on this end, it's on this side of that pipe, practically against the insulation, but not hard of the other pipe, and pretty much against the. Uh, AC boxy thing. That's all I do with this maneuver, which is the most important step. Because after that, well, if you can get it up to here, I think my previous video explained the rest. But this is the part that I needed to even figure out my own video. Record. Okay, there we go. Okay, so Apple's really bad at recording videos, but anyway, so I forget the rest, but then it goes a little something like secret tunnel, secret tunnel.
No, no, no. That's not the secret tunnel. Don't fall. Okay, anyway, so this goes up here, like that. And this has to go up to the other one. So let's see if I can see which side that's on with that. Okay, so that's actually in or being out. Funny enough. Uh, so I'm still doing the video wrong then. So this goes in here. And at some point, something was slipped past there. It kind of sucks when the camera is my eyes, also. Yeah, okay. So, that is definitely out. It's basically against the frame. So, you want to go like this with this you know on this side and hop that over to there where's that on that side and then bring this tab down that will just do whatever it wants and make its way up there and then you have this very close there you go like, oh, I'm so close how am I not done and then you crawl underneath and get just eaten by mosquitoes just obliterated but anyways so now is your best time to inspect your o-ring maybe even re-lubricate it but this one's pretty lubricated and there's plenty of oil coming out of the transmission and just make sure generally everything is in good shape and you're going to want to this may even be a good job for two people but you know, someone to wiggle the top part. We want to get this part, this tube to go on the other side of this. So you basically pull the tube outwards and pull the tinfoil crap towards it. Yeah, I'm gonna go up and see. Actually, no. So the tube can go upwards. That's its natural wanting to go position so I'm gonna push this in now it doesn't want to go upwards though okay so I'm gonna go upwards first very difficult step so you may feel like you're putting a fair bit of force it won't be enough to bend it though so not that kind of force but you ow crush your finger between the now practically spring-loaded dipstick tube and the aluminum -y piece but you want to slide your finger up do not lose your fingers especially if you're in America and then you Pull the rest of the aluminum B piece past there, straighten it if anything stayed bent, and then uh, yeah. Now this thing's all loose as hell and wanting to do whatever it wants, so I gotta go back up there. Yeah, so you turn this here, and this will go. Your, your threads are actually back there, it's not that, definitely not that. It's literally the giant one for no apparent reason. Other than the fact that they probably wanted to use that bolt for something else. This you kind of want to have go in that way more. It's very close. I'm going to go back underneath to make sure it's lining up. Okay, camera, do my job. Yeah, so basically. How can I not feel anything here? I 
And of course I can't see it. It's like right there. I'm just gonna get it close with my thumb. Yeah. It's resting on the hole. They still have silicone in here. Ugh, my fingers don't bend the right way. Alright, so I wasn't able to record this in my last video because the phone was all messed up, but so you once you get this pushed down into a position where it's basically wanting to naturally sit. Um you know, it's it'll sit there or there or whatever. Then you wanna bend your tab back in along the same axis. And of course I got mosquitoes again. Anyways, around there's like the natural position um actually would have to be pushed to reach there where it's like basically lining up with the bolt and if that was turned in more it's not gonna help anything really so it's only pushed up against there because it's uh probably because the engine's jacked up still Actually, I'm going to lower the engine to find out because it shouldn't interfere, you know, the lowering. Alright, it's now been lowered and it's natural resting position. Seems to be about there, so that's where it would sit for the bolt and that's where it is. And turning that bracket anymore would just make it sit in tighter. Turning it less, well, so if I put it there and then turned it less, well, let's see, so this is there, it's not touching anything. If it was there and turned back even less, then uh, that would just basically rotate the dipstick at that point. It's about there. If it was rotated, it'd be like here, maybe. Not much of a difference. It's not touching anything. 